Cyclone Mandos was a catastrophic event that impacted the Indonesian coastline, resulting in thousands of deaths, millions of dollars in damage, and all to real environmental destruction. The cyclone struck on Feb February 10, 2020, and its powerful winds and heavy rains caused considerable damage throughout the region, especially to, to buildings and infrastructure. 2022. Many lives were lost due to the destructive nature of the cyclone. Reports estimated that upwards of 100, 672 people were killed, with 35,444 suffering injuries of varying severity. National 2.5 million people were displaced, and economic losses exceeded the estimated dollars 500 million mark. The destruction caused the storm was far-reaching with six provinces, North Sulawesi, Central Sulawesi, Gorontalo, Maluku, East Kalimantan, and West Papua, sustaining the brunt of the force. In the day or two preceding the storm, the Indonesian government had issued clear warnings of the approaching danger. The press conference, the agency sports Spokesmen urged citizens to be aware of the potential dangers, to have sufficient emergency kits in their homes, and to obey all evacuation orders to be safe. Unfortunately, many of the resi residents in the area were unaware of ignored the warnings, leaving them unprepared and unable to escape the disaster. The aftermath of the storm must be devastating. Major roads and bridges were destroyed, leaving roads impassable and remote corners of the region disconnected for long stretches of time. In addition, electricity and communication lines were down, making it difficult to distinguish between parts of the country that are greatly affected and parts that are not seen. The widespread destruction of Winonton has caught distress of the government-issued warning systems in large swaths of the population. The Indonesian government has taken several steps to aid and the victims of Cyclone Mandos. The total of 139 million was allocated to areas of Sulawesi and Maluku to provide aid to those displaced or affected. Additionally, the government partnered with several international organizations and donors to provide emergency relief and rebuild the infrastructure destroyed by the storm. The government also commissioned a study to examine the storm's in impacts and the response from the Indonesian government. Through this, the government is attempting to implement new measures and policies to improve disaster response in the future. Cyclone Mandos was one of the deadliest and costliest storms to never occur in Indonesia. Despite the clear warnings issued prior to the storm, thousands of lives were still taken and hundreds of millions of dollars in damage was done. The government has taken steps to assist their victims and prevent these kind of disasters from reoccurring in the future. But, un but unfortunately, there is still plenty of work to be done.